hello friends this video explains how you can install self-hosted mac os agent in azure devops so if you want to uh, build or execute the pipeline in azure what happens is azure itself provides hosted agents like uh, in the cloud the cloud agents so you don't need to configure the agents as such to execute the pipelines but uh, there are certain uh, situations in which you want to you want to install those agents or configure the agents so you can configure windows agent then linux agent and the mac agent as well so in this particular url uh, it it uh, they have given the proper instructions like how to set up the mac os agent so i will uh, just tell you the step by step how uh, you have to do it First of all, you will need the personal uh, access token. So I, I will tell you later on uh, here you have to use that. So for that, you have to go to the account, Azure DevOps account. And click on your profile icon over there. You have to click on security and then there you have to create the personal access token. So you can see that I have already created one uh, token and uh, when you create the token, uh, the token uh, hash gener is generated, you have to copy that and then you have to use that particular um, token for the authentication purpose. So we are going to use that later on in the next steps. So that is the first step that we have to do, personal access token. And when you are creating the personal access token, uh, there will be, uh, you have to select the scope as agent pools read manage so in the scope section there are a lot of scopes available so you have to select agent pools and then you, you can create the token so you have to copy the token so that is first step next is uh, confirm the user has permission so uh, whichever user is trying to add the agent that user should have the permissions to add the agent so you have to make sure that uh, you have got those permissions based uh, using this particular instructions you can do that next step is you have to download and configure the agent so for that what you have to do is uh, you have to go to the project settings and in there you have to click on agent pools and then uh, you have to select the existing pool or you can also create new pool as well so i'm using default pool and uh, here you can uh, see that i have added this uh, local agent uh, my mac to azure devops so to add the new agent just click here new agent and then uh, there will be instructions like uh, for mac os what instructions you have to follow they are given here for if you are uh, trying to add the windows agent you can follow the instructions here for Mac OS, what you have to do is you have to download the agent. So just click here and then one uh, zip file, GZ file will be downloaded. Once that is downloaded, you can create a new directory in your Mac and then uh, CD to that directory. And then you have to uh, tar this particular file that you downloaded in this step. Once that is done, you have to execute uh, config.sh file that is there in the my agent so i will show you how i did it on my machine so this is the my agent that folder that i created and uh, here you can see there is one file config.sh so you have to execute that particular file and when you execute that file uh, it will give you the proper instructions uh, that you have to follow like uh, personal access token that we created earlier you have to feed that uh, token and then uh, authentication will be and then based upon that once uh, all this uh, so i'll also tell you the instructions here you execute the config.sh uh, so here you can see that i have executed config.sh here and uh, i have to accept the license agreements and then it is asking me for the server uh, url so this is my server url your server url will be a little similar just uh, this organization will be different for you then inter authentication type so here a personal access token i used and this is the token that i pasted here 
we are uh, remember that we are created this token in the first step itself so this is where you have to use that token and then uh, register the agent here you have to do the agent pool uh, this is the default pool that i used and then enter agent name so you can give any name there and uh, that's it the agent is ready listening for the jobs and once you get the message you have successfully added the agent and uh, that agent should be available in that particular pool so here you can see that in the default pool i have got this in the agents tab my mac is online so i can enable or disable this agent uh, by clicking on this button once that step is done next thing is how to uh, make this pipeline execute in this agent for their go to pipelines and then uh, go to build so i'm gonna execute this chain it to project uh, this particular pipeline in that build uh, sorry in that agent so just click on edit and uh, over there uh, this is the setting uh, which determines uh, where that particular pipeline will be executed so here i have given this uh, pool name as default and demands is this one agent.os equals darwin so demands is nothing but the capability of the agent so what i'm telling here is that select the agent from the default pool where operating system equals darwin so it will go to the default pool and see what agents are there and it will pick the agent which uh, has this os darwin that's it and then uh, you have to just click on run and it will pick up that particular uh, agent and execute this pipeline over there i will also show you the one build that i executed on this particular agent so you can see that this uh, particular build was executed on the agent so you can see that my mac uh, agent was used to execute this pipeline that's how it's very pretty uh, straightforward uh, not very difficult uh, you have to f just follow those steps properly and you should be able to configure your agent so this is similar steps uh, will be there for the linux agents as well as windows agents as well thanks for watching this video